great to be here. So many new things. I love it when you say, this is the best thing we, way we've ever said it. I feel that way on these cruises. Um, I'm a, have a hobby as a dancer, and there's a lyric in the song where she's like getting ready to go dancing, and she says, um, going dancing every week, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience that returns every week. And when I go on these cruises, it's like a once-in-a-lifetime experience that returns every cruise. <laughs> so it's great to be here. Thank you. Every, fact, every entry into the vortex is yes. that way because last time you were in it, since the last time you were in it, has changed. Yeah. And there's much more to see. God, I love that. You know, yes. I love that there's no end to it. Yes. So I want to talk about spirituality and politics. And... <laughs> I'm very excited about this. It's a little the... bit like talking about ice cream in the desert, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. However, I have conceived of um, a very wonderful way to think about it. And of course, you know, this has been part of my life long, long time now. And then coming into the Abraham material, this, the, I'm really feeling, particularly on this cruise, this whole idea of that, okay, we've put it over here, let's look over here. Um, it's in the vortex, it's in alignment, it's in vibration. You know, whatever the new words are, I believe that we could do that, I could do that, or I could talk about that as a political strategy. You know, a lot of the things that we try to solve in politics, you know, I'm, I'm kind of not interested in the way that we do it now. I am excited about the conversation that I like to call spirituality. I know um, you've often called it personal empowerment and upliftment, and I agree with all those terms that a way to be an activist, to um, hold good space or even create change in the world is to focus on what we do want and like have that Which be... means the best way to be an activist is to be a deactivist. Yes, yes, yes. It's because, mm -hmm. because let's mm -hmm. take the bridge, we want to hear you fully, but let's take the bridge that we just discovered uh, a few mom moments ago that before, before you can really be an activist from inside the vortex you have to be enough of a deactivist that you can get in yes. so you have to deactivate the the pressure and the problems that that most are queued up about and then then you can discover personally and then begin to focus toward the activation of your new worldview that's what i want to talk about I mean, that's been my idea of talks about spirituality and politics where I could speak to that being the action that we take, that if people are interested in looking in that direction, you know, in other words, rather than being actively involved in some group that I'm talking about you know, being in alignment with the direction of where you'd like to see your own personal world and the people who are showing up in it. From your personal experience in your view of politics, what have you seen as the precursor to big movements or big changes in government or even in parties in office? In other words, what, what usually precedes the change? The, knowing what you don't want. That's always something, the big something thing. Something got mm -hmm. big enough. Yep. Something got big enough. Mm -hmm. So again and again in the political cycle, the perfect queuing up for things to really get better happens because large numbers of people are aware of what they do not want. But what they're not aware of is how much they have put into this vibrational reality. So our question to you is, do you believe that the masses in their struggle have queued up a better life in their vortex yes do you believe that they need to individually or collectively know what they've put there in order for it to be experienced by them well ultimately they would have to move themselves along 
incrementally. Let's put it this way. Do you believe that masses could put things into a vortex that while masses might be depriving themselves of individually experiencing that those who do find alignment with the vortex could then benefit by what the masses have put there yes yes I do. so that's the way we would play the political game okay. because because when it is your desire to move the masses you get bogged down in the in the too much to try to control aspects of that where when you love them for what they've put there and you reap the benefit of the information that they've put there you see you don't need numbers you don't need large numbers you don't even need uh, the majority to agree with you in order for you to find alignment with the well-being that is put there and align with it so powerfully that it as in the same way that we were discussing healing throughout this gathering you can just know it and feel it so completely that you radiate the vibration of it and those who have been seeking will recognize in you something that they feel viscerally and in most cases the the less you try to articulate it the more likely they are to feel it mm. so would you say so, so, so okay. before you go there let, let's just get all we can get okay. out of this because what we're getting at is it, let's go back to this argument that we were talking about that you might be having with someone and certainly there is a lot of arguing or debating going on in politics so let's say that you're at this you're at the place where where you've lived enough and you know what's over here in the vortex and you know how much better it can be for humanity or even for a segment of the population you know that and you have spent enough time in your vortex getting there any way you can and then looking around and finding insightful good feeling um, anticipation of wonderful improvement for people as a whole and so you are really resonant with that and so your angst is gone which means your confidence is apparent and your fight is gone which means your harmony is apparent which means your your partisanship is gone which means your ability to to guide or lead across the aisle is apparent in other words you are you are tuned in to the big idea to the big picture and and you have withdrawn your fists and in the same way that we were talking earlier you're no longer fighting to try to win your cause because you acknowledge you've already won your cause mm. because it's already in the vortex so you are surrendering your gloves you are surrendering so so you're not fighting with your behavior and you're not fighting with your words instead you are in alignment with what you want and radiating it in an exactly the same way that we were talking about healers healing just by knowing the wellness you do that for an environment and it doesn't mean that they won't know where they're getting it they will feel it from you they will feel your leadership they will feel they will feel drawn to you because of what they feel from you in other words it, it's sort of like and maybe you'll appreciate this we want you to it would be like coming together with just the most delicious lover and and having a, a long afternoon of lovemaking with this lover a harmony on points you didn't know you could have harmony on and then at dinner that night he starts talking about what he thinks and you don't want to be with him anymore <laughs> In other words, there are so many harmony points with so many people if you will just allow them because at their core is the well-being that is at your core and at their core is the desire for thriving that is at your core. In other words, you are so much the same as those with whom you share your planet than you are different in the sense that you want well-being and there is just so much to be said about knowing it and radiating it rather than trying to talk them into understanding it too. So well, I, I believe that I can have fun being a speaker and talking about 
this idea just from the vortex. That's what I'm wanting to do. Good. And the, that's what I think it would be fun. And I, I perceive it as fun. And, and I believe that there's like an audience for it because people are applying this personally. And I think that these could be great conversations. We don't disagree with you okay. at all. So it, you, you, it can be applied politically. The, the thing about these laws of the universe and more important, the thing about you understanding them at every level of your being is that the laws are so consistent that everyone will resonate as you express them at some level. Great. Great. Well, that's great to hear. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>